so when I'm 25, I was, well, that was 1983. So I was a sophomore in college. And, uh, you know, I was just, I guess if I went back to that guy, I would say, uh, you know, back off on the beers. Don't, don't drink so much. (laughs) But, but, you know, I, in terms of how I was living my life at the time, it was fun. I was having a good time and I was learning. So I think all in all, that was a really good part of my life. Then 27 now, I'm married. I'm, I, I'm you a already year, married? Wow. Year, no kids. And I'm in my senior year at ICU. But I've been married to my wife for a year. And if I back then, I would tell myself, and we were living together, of course, even before we got married. But I would tell myself, Tim, do the dishes. Don't let her know. <laughs> I, I honestly, because mm-hmm. my wife would do stuff and she would never complain about it. And I found out years later how much she hated washing the dishes. No. And, oh, yeah. and so I started doing it because I don't hate it. And, you know, I just taken another burden off of her mm-hmm. and I, and, and that's just a kind of a metaphor, but I think I would have told myself what your wife is showing you isn't all of it. She's, mm-hmm. she's bearing a burden that she's not making visible to you. Mm-hmm. Especially when we moved to America, mm-hmm. like she was under so much more stress than I realized. And I was super busy working. Right. And I wish I had been more aware of what she was going through. Mm. So I could have been more understanding, more. I mean, we always had a good relationship and communicated, but I could have been a much better husband. So most of it would be trying to improve myself. (laughs) Like what I would, but what I would tell myself to continue doing is when opportunity knocks, answer Mm -hmm. the door. Yeah, and and that's what I did. So mm-hmm. that's what I don't regret. Hmm. Um, so I think I could have been a better father and husband. Japanese men will say that. That's actually I have to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Japanese don't like to ex- ver- necessarily verbally express. That's their, true. Their love and Even- which which reminds me of one more thing. Hmm. Don't expect your wife to, you know, verbalize her feelings toward you. And instead, look at how she expresses it. And my wife expresses it through action. Mm. She just does kind things for me. But she doesn't make a big deal out of it, Mm. right? And it's so low-key, it can almost go unnoticed, right? And what's the word? That's her love language, is she's more of a doer. And I think that's very common in Japan. Mm.